far as the core are concerned, they have a number of quality players, but Polanco in particular and Jacob Evans just driving from midfield are the players perhaps to watch out for. Well, the fans, you can tell, already getting into it at Virtue Field in Burlington, Vermont. We are underway. Vermont scored five minutes into game number one. It was Zach Barrett. The delivery from Evans curls up. And is going to hang, push out of play. Sure, just for insurance, with a touch. We'll do it again. It's interesting, Jacob Labovitz, the striker, is the man who's actually watching Ibrahim Kovi, not one of the big central defenders. Evans again with some pace to that, and it's Kovi who heads it high. Oh, that should have gone in the back of the net, and they're just saying it surprised me that a striker be marking the big defender, and he gets away from him, just stops running and comes back here, the big number 20. He has got to head that down. That's a gaping open goal for Kovi and he could have written his name in the history books there by just keeping that header down. Unlucky for him. Here's Evans. Handles in the middle. To him, spins, plays it long. White, head on a swivel, heel pass. Diaz, Canetti, intercepted by Vermont. They want to transition now. Physical play in the midfield, play on. O'Brien, burst his speed, now he centers. Such a way, there's a good chance. And a big knock, penalty coming. The Zini draws on that one. Kovi is too aggressive in the 18. Well, that was a fantastic attack from Vermont Green from one end to the other. Look, here they are defending. Look how they construct that good holding of the ball in midfield. Powerful play, knocked wide. And you can see this run from O'Brien causes a few problems, and Bazzini's going to pick up the loose ball there. Run into the box. Now, at this point, as a defender, you can't go putting your feet in there unless you're absolutely 100% sure of getting the ball. And he could have been a hero at one end, Kovi, and instead he's the villain at the other, giving this penalty away. So, Yaniv Bazzini will take this for Vermont, a chance to take the lead early. Pannenberg in net, gets prepared for Carolina. Bazzini hits, Vermont leads. Good finish, listen to that crowd. It's a big, big crowd. They're all wrapped up warm against the elements. That's made them even warmer and happier. He really put some power behind that. Bazzini sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And uh, he made the penalty. He won it with a bit of help from O'Brien there, Pierce O'Brien, causing some problems in midfield. but. He won the penalty, he took the penalty. It's a good test to see how those players have bonded and how calm they remain as they try and get back from this 1-0 deficit. And Doi picks up the pace, flings it wide. Here's an opportunity for Carolina. Looking for a cross, and not on the same page. And Doi picks up the mess, there's a shot. It's deflected, another chance, and it's saved! What a stop by Schnurr! Nathan Schnurr. That was a good save, wasn't it, from the goalkeeper pushing it away to his left-hand side, away from trouble. Have a look at this again. There's a couple of shots. One gets blocked there, comes straight out, and then look at that. Absolutely fantastic from Jacob Evans. We spoke about him and how I expect to see him in more of an attacking role, and that's why he's a great striker of the ball. Well, Schnurr had to make a, a couple of late stops for Vermont. In that first round, here comes Evans. He wants more, and Doi off the pass, off his left foot, almost top shelf. Didn't get the bend on the end of that. Oh, get into the box. 
wasn't far away. Had the right idea, and Joy cuts back on his left, and he wants to bend it into that far corner. Just doesn't get enough whip on that ball. They're beginning to put some pressure on now, Carolina Core. Well, it's been intense for both sides, I think. And you see the weather, it, it's not the best. It's raining in Vermont. Back to him. Evans, Canetti being peppered by the defense. Chips it and Schnur with the pickup. We've tried these long balls over the top a few times. Once or twice it's come off, but a lot of times it's, it hasn't. I just wonder if they think maybe the center backs of Vermont Green are pushing a little bit too high up and they can take advantage of the space behind them. Bazzini, physical play. Labovitz tracks it down for Vermont. Here's a shot, O'Brien just off the mark. What a chance for O'Brien, beautifully set up by Labovitz. Labovitz using his upper body strength here, shoulder to shoulder, maybe a little bit more than that, but sets it up. O'Brien's got to hit target. He's got to put that away. I just hope for his sake that that's not going to be something that loses in the, the cup match at the end. Imagine if you lose by a single goal, and that one should have hit the back of the net. But we've had chances both sides that have been missed that maybe should have been scored. And Doi into the 18, stopped. Rebound clear. Sure got a piece of that one. Redirected it. O'Brien up the left flank. Surges forward. Lose the defender. Cuts it back to the middle. Everyone on skates for Carolina after that. People slipping on the pitch too. Bazzini takes a shot off the back of Colby, the defender. Lockerman. Bends it, and this is going to hang up. Offside is the call. Another great run from Pierce O'Brien. He's having a huge game tonight. The 19-year-old bombing up and down that left-hand side, taking players on, nutmegging them as we saw a minute or so ago. They really are playing with a wonderful energy for Mon Green. They're not scared of Carolina Core and the big names from the coaching staff and the quality of the players. They're just going at them. There's been, as I say, chances for both sides. Very entertaining first half. Evans, again trying to go over the top. White reaches for it. There's a shot and it's punched away. Schnur, tough angle for a White and he was still able to get a good look. That's much better from White. Criticized him earlier for not getting anything into that box. But this time, even though, as you say, he's at a tough angle, he gets a really good effort behind it there. Just to make sure Nathan Schnur was keeping an eye on his near post, which the keeper was. Corner, short option again. It's Evans. Canetti. Off his left foot, serves it up. Hangs up there. Not totally out of the woods here for Vermont. Labovitz whiffs on that. Finally, a big boot for the green. Physical there with Barrett. Well battled there by the green. And the referee blows up for halftime. Well, that's the end of the first half between Vermont and Carolina. Oh, that's a loan change from Lassiter. No changes for Vermont quite yet. And we're underway in the second half. Vermont green, Carolina core. Just a one goal game. Corner for Carolina towards the near post. Diving header opportunity and nothing on target. Just the one shot on target for Carolina in this match. Mathuta looks up. Labovitz is open, takes a shot and it's off the post. The rebound is cleared by Carolina. Look at that, three, three versus three on transition. And he's through and away, Labovitz, and he just slows down there and picks his spot so close. I bet they're delighted to have a player of Jacob Labovitz's ability. Oh, that was risky. <laughs> Evans. Oh, 
Evans physical play and he's going to draw the foul. Two players there for Vermont and Prego Vaza. And now it's a good spot for a free kick. It looks like Prego's going to get a yellow card on this. So it is snowing and you can see the way it's covering the pitch already. It's going to make things interesting. It is. It's going to be more tackles like this and, and players slipping and sliding and but again, you would think the Vermont Green players would be slightly more used to it than the Carolina Core players will. Kennedy and Evans both up for this. Schnur gets set in net for Vermont. Kennedy backs off. This one bent by Evans, header stops. Schnur gets in front of that. It's Colby with a perfect opportunity and Carolina can't convert. Wow. Kobe, it's another great opportunity for the big man. He gets it on target, but straight at Schnur, who gets his knees in the way. Wow, what a chance there for Carolina Core. They've had chances at both ends in the space of the last couple of minutes. Well, Adam Pfeiffer did say, head coach for Vermont, that this is when things get interesting for the green, because a lot of these players two reasons. A lot of these players are in spring season because they're college players, so they're not really 90 minutes fit. Ooh, yes. It's a penalty. Wow, a penalty just on that end line. Sure. Gets ready in net, and Doy hits it. It's a good finish from Endoy. Thumps that one. Keeper goes the right way, Schnur, but you're not going to get that. But that's the amount of power and level terms they are. And to be fair, Carolina Core have had a whole bunch of chances themselves. Papa Endoy just stepped up. Went top shelf. Here he is. Breaks free. Endoy. In the 18, two defenders swarm, and Doi takes a shot, and it's just off the mark. Collided there with Schnur. Just control the game a little bit more, and obviously try and get back in the lead. Athuta, cross, saved, second chance, no! Pazzini couldn't put that one away. Running out of space to write down all these highlights. It's one off to the other, Pazzini. It's a lovely ball put in by Wafuta. Pazzini gets on the end here, and the goalkeeper just makes a save there. Pannenberg just gets it around the post as Labovitz was waiting to pounce. And yet again, another little half chance. Well, here's a corner for Vermont. So a change coming for the green. It looks like Mark O'Neill will come in. Pierce O'Brien's going to come out. For his debut, number seven. Off the corner, bent towards the back post, headed away, looking for a second ball, nothing there. Actually, from Wyatt, headed forward, there's a header for Vermont, and it skips past and wide. Fans dive deeper into the thrills and drama of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. Join the conversation on Twitter and Instagram at Open Cup and Facebook at Official Open Cup. There's a save, and the second chance is in. Carolina converts. On the rebound, followed up Carolina Core. I think there was Jason Warriors with the shot from the edge of the box. I think Joshua Rodriguez with a follow up. The big celebrations going on in the corner. Let's have a look. From the corner, ball gets. Play to the edge of the box, it's a decent shot. And Nathan Schnell, all he can do is just drop the ball into that danger area. Well, there's Richella with some urgency. O'Neill loses it, and Doy wide. Makes a run in the box, looking for a header. Blanco saved, Schnurr says no. Vermont has some other ideas. We're gonna get this corner after a long wait. Kovi Labowitz getting into it underneath, some pushing and shoving, extracurriculars, and a red card against Labowitz. That is heartbreaking for Vermont. Now watch number 20 there, bang, with his right knee. That's a red card, you can't do that. And then a bit of a headbutt, small one, but that's the definite red card. And that's the one the referee saw. Corner that came in there wasn't good enough. And the referee calls it 
there's a final whistle. Carolina Core with two second half goals are moving on to the third round of the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup.